Okay, so my brother's girlfriend tried to sleep with me. And before I get into the story, you need to know that my brother's girlfriend used to live with us. So I was around her pretty much all the time. Anyway, this all happened on a Saturday that me and my brother and his girlfriend had planned to go do something. We had the night planned. We were gonna go eat, watch a movie, and then overlook the city. Let me start by saying none of that ended up happening. And why that didn't happen is because my brother got called into work. But at the time, I didn't know he got called in, so I was still getting ready for our night out. So after I got ready, I went to his room to get him and his girlfriend. And when I didn't find him in his room, I was pissed because I took forever to get ready and I was wearing the freshest fit. I sat down on his bed and called him to ask where he was and he told me he got called into work. And this is where things get juicy. I hung up the phone and his bedroom door busted open. My brother's girlfriend walked in the room fully naked and I could not stop staring at her. She was bad. She literally had the perfect body. But eventually I covered my eyes and tried to leave the room. But to my surprise, she didn't let me leave the room. Instead, she got on top of me fully naked. And this is when my phone rang. I answered it and things got so much worse. So you know when you're doing your business with your girlfriend and you clean up? One time I forgot to and it ended up horribly. So me and my girlfriend were going to see a movie one night and when we got there the ads were still playing. So she decided that she wanted to go to the bathroom and you know, yeah. And I'm an adrenaline junkie for that kind of stuff in public so I couldn't turn it down. But in the bathroom we could still hear the echo from the movie. And once we got finished we had noticed that it already started. We were in such a rush that her and I both forgot to clean up. So we get into the movie theater and it is absolutely packed. And it took me a couple of minutes to find a seat. A singular seat left, meaning she had to sit on my lap. And everything was pretty normal throughout the movie until it was over. They turned on the lights as the movie was ending and we decided to leave. Well, my girl was wearing a skirt. I looked down at my pants as I got up to leave and I noticed that there was stuff all over me. And I knew what it was. And when I look up, everyone is looking at me and laughing. And as me and my girl are leaving the theater, a group of girls and guys come up to us. And what they did embarrassed me for life. Like and follow for part two. So last night I went to a beach party and I'm never going to another one. So yesterday I met a couple of guys on the beach and they were cool so we ended up exchanging numbers. Well, late last night they hit me up and invited me to go to a beach party a few blocks down. And as soon as I got there, everybody was calling me Bryce Hall because apparently I look like him or something. I ended up hitting it off with one of the girls that said that I looked like him. And one thing led to another and we decided to go upstairs to a bedroom. But once we got upstairs, every single door was locked besides one at the end of the hallway. So of course, without thinking of knocking, we opened the door and went inside. But as we were opening the door, I heard some strange noises, and I knew good and well what they were, but it was too late because the door was already almost all the way open. And once the door was open, I saw two dudes, and they noticed us almost immediately. They stopped what they were doing and just stared at us. I expected them to be embarrassed and cover up or tell us to get out, but that's not what happened. They asked us a question, and it was a question that I really didn't want to be asked. Like and follow for part two. So me and the girl that I had just met walked down into the water, right down there by the pier. And at first it was actually a lot of fun, throwing the football and swimming together. Then she got all up on me and hugged me. And then it got more awkward by her kissing me, but I kissed back anyway. That was until she pulled down my swim trunks in the water. But we were only about waist deep so everyone could see what she was doing. And I know this sounds really bad of me, but it shocked me so bad that I pushed her off of me. And she actually fell into the water. Then I pulled my swim trunks back on so fast that I got a wedgie and ran straight for the sand. But it was too late because everyone on the beach was already laughing at me. Not because of what I was packing, but because my swim trunks were literally off. I was so embarrassed that I immediately started running back to my condo. I did look back to see how the girl was doing. I guess I actually pushed her really hard because she was crawling back onto the shore, getting annihilated by waves. But I mean, she should not have done that when everyone was watching. Something might have worked out if she would have let me take her back to the condo or something. I can follow for more crazy stories.